In this video, I'm going to show you how I use the data point plugin for PowerPoint to create a simple patient's queue for a waiting room in a medical clinic. So this is a PowerPoint presentation that's currently running. I'm running it in a window uh, so that I can also show the Excel spreadsheet it's getting the data from. Uh, but normally this would be full screen, so it would be much bigger and very legible for, for your patients. So when patients are in a lineup, they're worried, like, did someone forget about me, especially if they see other people getting in ahead of them or something like that. So the benefit of this is it shows people where they are in the lineup. So if your name is James, you know that you're the third one in line and you know you don't have all that long to wait, hopefully. So how do you update this? So what I did was there's a simple um, Excel spreadsheet here and we're just gonna go and add somebody else here and then add in another time. 156 p.m. and hit enter. And when we do that, uh, I've set this to check about every five seconds or so. Well, I need to save it first, sorry. And it will automatically update. You see Dave C is now showing showing over there. So uh, very simple to update. Um, your, your staff can work just in a simple Excel spreadsheet. So how was this created? Let's go through this step by step. So the first step, of course, is I created a simple spreadsheet and just saved it. So just very easy, two columns, um, name and arrival time. And I'm not using the last names of the patients because usually that you don't want to identify people who are, who are in there. Uh, so that was the easy part, just saved that. And now let's go and look at the PowerPoint here. I'm just going to come out of the um, presentation and you can see there's the PowerPoint there. So how this was done is we just start off with a brand new slide like this. And so the first thing we want to do is probably add a uh, graphic. So let's go add pictures and then you just scroll on your device to where to wherever you save that picture And there we can drop in the logo. And move it over and we can resize it and do all, all the usual things you can do in PowerPoint with that. Next, we just want a simple um, title over here. So we're just going to go insert, just going to go to the standard text box within PowerPoint, add that there, and we're going to go patient. Just type that in. And, you know, and then once again, you can make it much bigger. You can center it. You can do all, all the normal things you do. You do in PowerPoint, of course. Next step is to insert a table. I'm just going to go insert a table. And I'm just going to do very, a very simple, um, you know, two column table with a few, few things there and drag it down. Now I want to make my connection in data point. So I'm going to go to data point. I'm going to go to list. And I've already got a connection in here, but I'm going to show you how to create a new one so you can see. So then you want to go to Microsoft and Microsoft Excel. And we're going to go add connection. Then you just browse once again to find your file. And there's my file. Open. Click OK. And that's the new connection. Usually at this point, you want to rename it. Um, Call it appointments two. Then you want to set up a query and go add query. Uh, just goes on the sheet. Do what is the first name? First does the first row contain field names, which it does. And you set here how often you want it to update. Now I set it for five seconds because I wanted to, you to be able to see kind of in real time how it would go. That's probably how you would set it up. You know, five or ten seconds if you're going to be updating it continually. Go OK. And you'll see my data is here. Now you notice the arrival time is showing this person arrived in 1899 on December 30th at 1.30. So they've been waiting a very long time and must be in very good health to still be alive. That's the default way that, um, that Excel saves the data. You don't see it in that Excel spreadsheet, but it is there. And I'll show you how to get rid of that in the other, in the other part. Okay, and once again, you can rename the query. Find a query two, and it's very important to name these because if you're pulling in information from different sources, you might have 
10 or 12 different queries uh, and connections set up on a on a presentation so uh, later on if you just got it where it says new excel and there's five different new excel uh, connections you're not going to know which is which you're going to have to go through them all individually let me click ok so now we're just going to click on the table, go to data point, and now we click on the table under the data point options. So we're just going to connect this table to data point, and then we choose uh, which query we want here. So we want that. Start filling data at row two. Copy the column names to the first row. We'll do that. And I usually like to, you don't have to do it in this case, but automatically adjust the number of rows and columns. You'd want to adjust the number of rows in this case because if you have 15 people and I've only set four rows, that's not going to work. Now, another trick here is we want to format this a bit. Um, so we're going to want to um, we'll save that one. Then we're just going to go here and we're going to copy these, or sorry, highlight all these with the 1899s. And then we're going to go back to the data point table. And we're going to format those and we're going to choose date and time and you see here it gives you more choices for that so we don't want the seconds so we just go 832 and now it shows up there so you can see how easy that was that didn't take me very long at all i did it live right in front of you um, once again of course you can uh, adjust the colors in the table you can adjust the backgrounds there's a lot more things you can do to make this pretty but in essence uh, very quickly I was able to set that up for you I did with the first one play a bit with the colors to make them match a little bit better but other than that and you can easily change your table formats just in the normal design areas uh, just by going to uh, oops sorry go to the design table design Click on table, go to table design, and then you can easily just change your table to look however you want. You can go through all those. So yeah, it, it's a really simple thing to do. And once again, you're working primarily with, um, with um, PowerPoint uh, great features for being able to set this up and you can do this. So, so please like and subscribe if you like this video and uh, reach out to us if you have questions about how to create something like this for your own facility. Thanks so much for listening.